Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast ban list special. Tonight, I am joined by my fellow members, Lachlan. Hello, I am a fellow member. Bragg. Hello, I am also a fellow member. Sebastian. Hello, I'm a fellow. <laughs> I'm also joined by Logan from, um, I don't know what your channel's called these days, um, and Ben Nolan from Nolan CCG. Hello, I am disappointed that no one made a joke related to member. Uh, I a have Christian a member. Podcast. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> not so while as... editing it. <laughs> As the title has alluded to, this is a ban list podcast. So, um, what are you talking about? I, the, I make the I make the titles. It's going to say penguins, bro. <laughs> uh, <for God's> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Somehow, my intro for this was too disruptive to the pod. Anyway, um, <laughs> so because I feel like you're just going to interrupt me if I try to read out the whole thing, we're going to talk about each card one by one. So we'll start with the band Zodiac Barrage. Good. Pointless. The longer the day's gone on, the more I've liked it. Yeah, I'm I'm for it. Wait, did the ban list drop today? Yeah, it was this morning. <laughs> Barack. You've Fair. been actively discussing the ban list. What are you talking yeah, about? I just felt like I talked about it for so long that it was at least yesterday. <laughs> no, no, Fair not today. Not even twenty four hours. I think, um like I swear they do nothing, though. I don't get it. It, it stops Dex from having Zeus. free access to Zeus. It now requires a normal summon, at least. Yes. Yeah, I guess so. Except it doesn't. It, like, flat out doesn't. Except it does. It's just Explain as likely how. Oh, it's like... just as likely for you to open Barrage as it was for you to open Terratop. No, okay. don't tell Loz of that. <laughs> 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 okay, so the issue with that is that Terratop currently does not get you to a zoo. To make a thing that can attack directly to then be no, able to make right. Zeus. Teratop gets you Chuck a Tom Bog, which then gets you the Nightmare Shark, which then gets you the Down a Magician, which then gets you the Zeus. It's just as. Yeah, but that's way more stuff. Okay, the thing is. What do you mean? No, no. Okay, so here's the thing is that that has more effects to be able to disrupt than it did Barrage. I uh, hardly. Like, yes, but hardly, right? Like. If if we're getting down to real nitty gritty, yes, but like, I would say that it's not as much of a difference. I I wouldn't be able to agree and justify that being why barrage is now at zero. Zodiac was doing piss all anyway, and that's not the problem card. And no one was actually doing that. I swear, I haven't seen lists do that. Like if you're if barrage was the problem for Tri Brigade Zoo, then there's. 20 other problems. Yeah, which they'll address after they've sent the tin out, which has the reprints that people will buy. Yes. The the top, the theme of this ban list is very much, we couldn't Reserve really do tin. anything dramatic because all of our stuff got delayed. Yeah. Pretty, I don't know. Like, it feels like an excuse, though, for, for Konami, because, like, the amount of times they've just had, like, a lull in product and no one's been doing anything anyway... Like, where there's no real product coming out that they're trying to push and they still just deliver a, a shitty ban list. Like, Trad- it, it's, it's more than... Traditionally, though, it's it's always been a case of, for example, like, when Zoo Format happened, the tins come out and a month later you get a ban list, which, like, cleans up the stuff yeah. that is overpowered that's released in the tins. Sure, now, well, I... we won't get, well, we won't get that. Well, yeah, when it, because we're not going to get the tins until after the ban list is now in effect. Mm. So now you get a format to play with it because they could they because they set a date predetermined before the delays happened. They back themselves into this corner. Yeah, fair. The um, I mean, they did announce it over a week beforehand. <laughs> which, yeah. Stop doing this. Just announce it on the day. No one needs it. Well, the, the, the effective like is at days? least on the first. Yeah, but that's so dumb to be like the next ban list will be in October and they release it halfway through September. Oh, I, I don't know. I just you don't can produce it. content. You can produce content. <laughs> yeah. You're just robbing you of later content. Um, no, you don't have to. You don't have to record stuff and be like, "Oh no, whatever ban list comes and it destroys it." Now it's like I've got like two weeks that I can do new ban list content. <laughs> 
Yes, this this truly was a ban list for the for the content creators. It <laughs> always is. Yeah. Do you know today is five days to uh, five years to the day after Zodiac first or Zodiac first got announced, and it it is the most hit it's ever been. And and it's only now that they decided to hit Barrage. Because it's the Logan, you didn't even play it. Why are you so mad about this? I hate, I hate Zoo. I hate Zoo. Real Why do you care so much that it got banned? I think Zoo deserved to get hit. Fuck him. I hate, I hate Zoo. The Real answer passion. is... It's the best deck of all time. I hate it. Is it the best deck of all time? Yeah, 100%. Now, mate, it's still getting banned five years later. Yes. Sure, but... Realistically, Zoo like gets banned like... in January. And yeah. then you get this card. You get your barrage back to one. No, nah, they'll leave it off for a while. I reckon they'll leave it off, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, fucking Konami, yeah, absolutely. Fuck Zoo. Yeah. Give, like, give them, give them they've had their time. First. They've had their time. They they can go now. Um, <laughs> hang on, coming from the man who plays Alistair. Yeah, but <laughs> Alistair also doesn't do time. anything. Alistair hasn't topped anything ever. Yeah, yeah. Alistair isn't one card Zeus. There was a couple of times where it topped in Spiral Format. Alistair Crowley topped a few people. Really? No, no, <laughs> no, no. no. Oh, no. Anyway, we're doesn't. moving off this. Um, I'm going to so... top myself. <laughs> moving on to Limited, we have <laughs> Eva. Yeah, fuck Drytron. It doesn't... Wait, did Eva get banned or did it go to one? Eva's at one. 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 But it... That's so oh, useless. Think... Yeah. Ban if it. You're, if you resolve one Eva, you win the game it... anyway. Logically, it's the same thinking they did with the other two cards that are limited, and they were like, this deck is good, but we can't realistically ban anything, so let's just nerf everything slightly, and this seems like the weakest hit out of the three hits we're going to talk about here. Yes. Um, Absolutely, it's just... the weakest meta deck to get hit. It's... I mean, the weakest it hit to a meta definitely needed deck. some addressing. Yeah. I don't know if Eva was the card to address. Yeah. I mean, if you resolve the one Eva... You're still winning. But yeah, still they should have banned. Uh, not overly salty, a little bit salty because I bought two on auction <laughs> last night. Yeah, <laughs> what? Man, that's two play sets. Yeah, I guess. Well, I a, lot a... Of, a lot of good Drytron players were already cutting their Eva to one anyway to find space in the deck. It Essentially, now if you out the Herald, they don't have a massive follow-up, like, they can't re-establish the Herald and have a bunch of fucking negations, because they then have to burn, like, the orange light out of their hand, and they won't be able to research more negations on the following turn. Like, that's that's the only thing that Evita 1 does. But, yeah, I think that's the main thing, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. some of them are already doing that. Yeah. Like, But it's more incentive, right? Like, you stop their... You use Eva, you ah. play on their turn, next turn yes. you just make the bigger end instead. Yes, so that is the the grand plan. I feel is make more people play Dragoon to then ban it next format, and then they're yeah. forced to all play uh, new hero uh, thing or oh, the melodious card. Dragoon. No, <laughs> I've been thinking this more and more, but I I reckon Konami thinks Dragoon is a balanced card. <laughs> like, I think Konami. I think Konami thinks... of America thinks it's a balanced card. <laughs> I think it's Konami already might... banned in the OCG. I think Konami America genuinely believes it's a fair card because it uses two normal monsters. I think Konami of America is retarded. Well, Jake yeah. left. <laughs> Nothing of value lost. Keep going. Alright, what's the next hit, Jake? Uh, next card is Prank Kids Meow Meow Mew. Ben, how do you feel? I think it is perfectly fine. Um, having thought We're about, like... Jake out. Was, no one's kicking Jake out. Jake just keeps DCing. Oh. Um... So, in the lead-up to looking at this ban list, this is the only realistic way you can hit uh, Prank Kids without having Prank Kids be completely murdered. Yeah, yeah I think so, it's a good hit. Like, it does, like, the deck can still do its full combos turn one, just turn two, you can't completely swing a game back on a top deck. But it also think... just incentivizes you to play Pranks in plan, right? Like, okay. um, well, like so realistically, um, so you're... You could already play Pranks and Plan, and you would never, ever shuffle back the Meow Meow anyway. You will now just simply only get one one card oh, start in your deck. Banished, yeah. yeah, it doesn't shuffle back the Banished, because you're going to banish it for the double 
like mm. to use double Regeki. Yeah. Um, if you like, say if you don't need it, you can shuffle it back with something like a pranks. Like say if one Regeki is enough to clear your opponent's board, you can then like pranks it back or plan it back. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. Realistically, it doesn't matter. Do you that go much. back to playing a bunch of like the extender variant? Do you reckon where you have like the two card combos instead of the one card? So like you can do your one card uh, first and then you're set up to always be able to do the two card afterwards. A lot of decks were already experimenting that with that with like the amount of space that you have in the deck, so they were already yeah. looking at playing stuff like Poly again. I think Pack played that version at the YCS where he could do the two card extension play yeah, to get one through hand stuff. traps. Or how Poly yeah. What? Yep, yep. Yeah, best fusion card in the deck. Yeah, and it makes sense. Like obviously i'm biased there's plenty of other one card combos out there but on pa- on paper they kind of have to yeah like you can't have a deck win a ycs and then like just leave it untouched yeah. sadly yeah. but you have think, to acknowledge that the deck is playable oh, i think oh, pranks is the worst of the decks that got hit if i'm honest i think like that purposefully got hit yeah. yeah yeah i feel really bad for harry because his curse has continued yeah. No, look, it's still a very playable deck. It's yeah. still more than playable. But he bought he bought two meta decks in this format near the end, and they've both been hit. I'm he had dry shrine for it. ages. That's what you get for buying a meta deck close to the ban list. This is true. Yeah, there is that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then but finally, he... unlimited, we have Fire Formation Tanky, um, which sort of is in your Senju. <laughs> I can't believe it actually happened. I did not believe that I would ever hit Tanky. People were saying it for ages, though. Like, it does lower the consistency of tri a lot. That's why I just didn't believe it was happening. It was like, boy, what? cried wolf. Wasn't oh, it already boy. limited once? Mm, uh, no. I mean... No, not in OCG. Uh, not in TCG. It went to uh, one in OCG. OCG. I think it's yeah, still... Yeah, it went to a... one in the OCG in the very last list, wasn't it? No, I think it's coming... I think it came back to two in the last list. Hmm. No, I don't pay that much attention to the OCG. Um, I was in there. Well, it's actually a fire formation card. So, my opinions on Tanky getting hit, I guess this isn't really an opinion, this is more of like a fact, but I think yeah, if, just you came break, back okay, if you break down the maths on it, the odds of them now being able to play through their normal sun moon being disrupted is now significantly lower. Oh, yeah, Which right. is fair, because that's always been the way it's supposed to be with with Zoo was like interrupt their normal summon and you'll probably like you probably survive the turn. I mean, yeah, he's talking about Tri Brigade, right? Yeah, I'm talking oh. about Tri Brigade. Yeah, so oh, Tri Tri-Brig- yeah. Brigade. Get rid of that. With the tanky <laughs> to one, it's now like like significantly lower statistically to open the ability to generate two summons to then like threaten the link combo and everything. Tri Brigade stinky. Yeah, you're not going to see the discard boy anymore. Yeah, because now you not only do you need to specifically see the discard, you also have to have a target to discard from it and your first normal summon. So that's now like three cards you need, and you don't have a generic search off for two of them. Yeah. Okay. What's the next card? Uh, so we move on to the semi limits now, and we have Danger Nessie to two. Let's go. Let's go. It begins, boys. Let's go. Yeah, I think they're just testing the waters for the danger. Yeah. yeah. No, no one's one been playing it. them. No one uses it. Let's get them all back. Mm, no, because then people will use them. <laughs> yeah, but at that point, it's too late. They've made the mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's broadcast that. Um, yeah, like, I feel like Nessie's not even the best one from memory, is it? Like, it no, summons it one from no, the deck. No, one hand. That's one. It's oh, okay. Mm, yeah, okay. So it's that's, definitely the best one. I feel like that's probably the better one. I feel like Tsuchinoko is probably the best one, because it guarantees it's something. I think oh, Mothman's no. pretty good. I think, it's, I think it's definitely out of Nessie and Jackalope, to be honest. Jackalope being it's probably Jackalope. Level. Yeah, Jackalope chooses any level, which is pretty good. Yeah, like level one. Well, no, because there's no level one. Oh. There should have been. I was yeah. really surprised there wasn't. Yeah. Imagine how fucking dumb it would have been that they put a level one tuna danger. <laughs> <laughs> you sharp. I'm going to have nightmares tonight. You, you know Konami <laughs> listens to our podcast and then does it. <laughs> like, mate, thank God Konami does not listen to our podcast. Did, did the OCG get a... Did the OCG get a uh, danger? 
Yeah. Yeah. Of course what I did. one did they get? All of them. No, no, no. I mean, like for their exclusive because of the TCG archetype. Oh, um, didn't they get like one of the? It was like Danger Zone or some one shit, of... or Into the Danger. Yeah. Uh, Danger Zone was out from the start. I think it was Danger Expedition okay, or something. something garbage good. Yeah, they didn't print broken support for that because they looked at it and it's like, hey, the TCG finally made a good archetype for us. Thank hey, you. Hey, burning abyss, <laughs> mate. Yeah, look, if we want to bring this argument up, there's been a lot more bad archetypes from the TCG than there has been good ones. To be fair, pure danger is, is bad. But danger dark world, boy. <laughs> So gross. The world, FDK. It's not even, mate. The world, the world. Just fire world, FDK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next on the list, we have Performer Pal Skullcrabat Joker to two. It's not like to buy it. Like, no one played it, it at one. Just put it to no two. No one's going to play it at two. It, put, put it at three. three. No one's going to play it. Put it to three, then we can get Monkey Board to one. Is there a... And then no one will play that. <laughs> Is there a Darkness Metal still at 2? It's still at 1. Why? I don't know. Because it's broken. No one's going to pl- like, no one's gonna play more than one, right? Well, no. Now it's a hard one for dead. Heck no. They just... And it doesn't matter. Don't care and it's only... Why is, it, why is it sucking up bandwidth on our, on our limited list? Yeah, they don't have a quota on what cards sit in what bracket. We literally have 100 cards on the ban list. We don't need 100 cards on the ban list. This pains me. Um, so I feel like this is maybe just like a baby step into giving pendulum. Please. So they may like. I mean, it happens. So to next list, list, like right? they, they might bring that back to three, and then maybe put something else back to Electrum. one. Like. No, you. <laughs> you Electrum and Hell though. cannot exist at the same time. You got no. that other. I'll tell you that as a fact. Electrum cannot. Huh? Come off the ban list anymore. You've got that other metal phase. Not with Hulk. Link. Once Hulk scored, it can. No, it it didn't. They, they released Metal Post support. It didn't come off the ban list. It will never come off the ban yeah. list. Once Hulk gets banned, that 100 card ban list becomes like a 70 card ban list. <laughs> like, yeah. no, that statement is wrong. No, we surely not. There's like 12 nah, tuners sh- on the ban list. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll talk about it in the chat before. 100 minus 12 does not equal 70. No, exactly. Okay. <laughs> so 100 minus 12, then you got Summon Sork, Link Cross. Summon Zork is not coming off that band Summon list. Summon Zork cannot come back. Hulk was not the problem. Summon Zork was the problem. I mean, true. <laughs> You're not wrong. Like, our, our Summon Zork got banned before we got Hulk. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> because it was still good. Yeah, um, but... Uh, trying to go a minute. Let me... Yeah. <laughs> let me just play FDKs with my Summon Zork. No! Like, let you can't have FDKs. <laughs> FDKs are not a fun thing for every person to play. No. You know what's not a fun thing? Revolt. Why is that still around? You just it's discussed it's this. It's in the tin. It's, 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 it's in the tin. It's getting reprinted with the cards in the deck. So after they've made their money, they will touch it. Give me Prismatic Summon Sork so I can play it. Disgusting. Um, yeah, so I feel like because we're talking about Summon Sork now, we've moved on from Pendulum cards. Um, so we'll move on to Emergency Teleport to two. Good. Put it to three. Cosmo, baby. Yeah, mate. So- I cannot wait to play Super Quants. <laughs> <laughs> I asked for this. I asked for this last ban list, and it didn't happen. So when it happened, this ban list, I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> it does seem weird timing for them to do Pure it as well. Spite. They didn't want to give you the point, Ben. Is there anything in the tins yeah. that use it? No, there's, uh, a, new, there's a new deck. There's a new deck. Yeah, there's a new like, like, deck. That yeah, has there's the, punk, uh, but okay. like, I mean. Punk By that logic, they could have done it with Mutant as well, like, but they didn't. Look, my logic was when they banned VFD, they may as well give them an Italy to two just to see how it went. But, yeah. you know. I also think, does it help Virtual World that much? It's like, not yeah. really. Yes. It does. Absolutely, yes. It, guess, it yeah, puts sorry. a board, it increases their ratio of bodies on board for free, so. True. Yeah, I don't think it's... And that means full combo. Yeah. You should play it, Logan. Yeah, I should play Virtual World, seeing that. Off the other. Yeah. You bought it months ago and you haven't touched it. I got really into combo again with other decks. It is combo. Yeah, virtual World Dunk combo. I got really, into, I got really back into going second Dino. That was only last week. Nah, I've been theorycrafting that for a while. Oh, for God's sake. 
Um, yeah, but it, it does help a, a few decks. Obviously, Virtual World's probably the one that sticks out most as it's the only one that's really doing anything. But, like, you've got Mutants, you've got Cosmo, you've got Super Quants. Um, it also helps us solve those. I hadn't said Super Quants. There's no <laughs> yeah. Super Quants we're going to get mentioned there. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but I, I watched a, a thing today. It was, like, six decks that can abuse E-Telly, and that was one oh, of them. Oh, okay. One of the other ones was um, Assault Mode Turbo. Oh yeah. yeah, let me just go throw up real quick. <laughs> let me hit up dual links. Honestly, anything else on that list is better than that. It's painful. I'm gonna look up other psychic. Uh, there's the punk ones, and then what oh yeah, metal foes can abuse it. They're psychic. Summon. You can summon Ghost Ogre and then use its effect. Woo! It happens that turn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> otherwise, it's gonna get banished. Card. Yeah, well, it's a quick play, mate. It's it's a it's a very good card. It is free access to a tuner, I suppose. That's another thing as well. You like just summon a tuner from deck. Yeah. If you normal summon armor. Oh, deck, Mech Knight Avram. Oh, wait, it's level four. That's no, level four. Ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And then finally, off the ban list, we have Double Iris Magician. Ooh. Damn, that's crazy. Hello. Triple <laughs> Iris Magician. <laughs> <laughs> They're breaking pendulum. <laughs> what the fuck was that, Lockham? <laughs> I don't know. It's such a useless it card. It does nothing. It searches the trap. What do you mean? Yeah, the trap is No bad. one's going to run that. Oh, you can summon Cosmo Scaredy Lion. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the target. Um, Once per uh, turn, you can pay 500 life points, then target three of your banished Cosmo monsters, return them to their graveyard, and if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. It's like Tintin. Oh, it win in time. Win in time. Win. Also, there's a bunch of gustos, but that's it. Hang on, don't you pay for fucking life to do it? How are you winning in time? Oh yeah, you pay. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Yes. <laughs> Wait, let me. Yeah, pay five hundred life points. Do five hundred damage. What a useless card. <laughs> this was. This was well after they. Uh... <laughs> this is so far after they wanted Cosmos to be good, oh, but they yeah. haven't hadn't given it its four sets of uh, support. And I think this was, like, it. <laughs> Jesus. Um, cool, so that wraps us up on the ban list. So um, what do we think are the biggest winners and losers out of the ban list? Penguins. Um, winners, penguins. <laughs> losers, prank kids. My will to play you, yeah. Yes, send you. Nothing of yours got hit, you idiot. The Pure fire fist. Trash. You just wanted everyone else to have less stuff to play with. Yeah, yeah, yeah win- exactly. The winners are Konami. That's such an a People who rely on Zeus to win every game. Konami's oh, the same. Yes. <laughs> the biggest winner from this ban list is I don't know. Dynamis didn't get hit again. <laughs> Mystic oh. Mind still not hit. Suck it, nerds. Probably the biggest winner out of this is anyone who plays Dragoon Turbo. The, the biggest winner out of this is all of those Konami uh, OTS stores that aren't getting their Mega Tin allocations till like fucking October. Uh, no, not October, till December. And then uh, they want to be able to actually sell those Mega Tins. They're the biggest winners from this band list. <laughs> also, oh. J- Jabe's the biggest winner. Yep. It's kind of, it's kind of wild that yeah. they were able to actually make a band list without any product coming out. I'm surprised they didn't push it back. Like, they didn't just go. No ban list. It'll be pushed back along with product review. That's the thing. That with the tiered releases, though, like the third wave isn't going to show up till December. So you yeah. can't exactly be like, hold on, guys. We're not going to ban anything out of this Mega 10 until December. Because guess what? That's a 17th of January ban list. Yeah, jeez. That's a good point. And that's when we're getting the next ban list. So be fucking happy they gave us anything in the meantime. <laughs> Logan's not happy because he wanted to make Zeus easier. No, I didn't. I want to make Colossus. Maybe like Zeus breaks my entire board. Why'd they get rid of the cards that make Zeus? <laughs> <laughs> Question oh. science still can't answer. This is true. <laughs> um, okay. Um, so... Obviously, moving forward, not a great deal changes in the meta, just a lot of consistency from some of the higher tier decks. Um, but do you see any of the decks that possibly might resurge after this ban list? No. Virtual World a little bit, I guess, like a bit more, I guess. They just got a light consistency boost. Decks that 
play trap cards. Mm. Why? It's always, it's always that grind. Because they won't get Zeus by Trap Brigade anymore. True. Oh, good. I don't know, I feel like a lot of like the tier 1.5, tier 2 decks become more viable. Like... Yeah, it's like if Upstart came back to 3. It's like if a ban list happened. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like if an actual ban list happened. Yeah. But less mm. so. Yeah. I think Dino could probably do some more in this format now. With one miss. Like, yeah, well, I think Dino kind of got hit the similar way to these guys in that. Yes. Just as he got hit. Like... Yeah, except all these decks are good. Are more stomachable than Dino. <laughs> I enjoy versing every single one of them more than Dino. All these oh decks God. haven't been out since March 2016. I mean, by local, Dino, by local Dagoman, Zoo in Traffic Game technically has. The zoo oh, yeah, and it got hit. Yeah, and now Zoo's dead. For, that's true. <laughs> what? <laughs> Everyone missed the, uh, the wide open goal out. Left for invoked, but no one. I already made it. Yeah, there. it's well, such a did you, joke. Did you expect me to take it, Ben? <laughs> no, I already made it, and he got like he didn't laugh. He just got very angry. So I wasn't gonna make another one. Didn't people stop playing Zoo and Tri Brigade after Dryden got hit? They no. did, and they went back. They were just like, oh, we were still playing this, and then like, wait, I'm just gonna fucking Zeus. <laughs> Because the uh, thing is, was Barrage secure. was still a one-card combo. Like you go for like do the Zoo thing, summon Ferajid, and then. You can just keep zoo stuff in the extra deck because besides the actual stuff that you use to do tri brigade stuff, there's not really a lot that you need in the extra deck for tri brigade. So you can still afford to run the zoo's package. Well, you could before now. I just heard Seb audibly yawn during the <laughs> I think it's one of those reverse yawns where like you have to <laughs> suck in <laughs> air to then. <laughs> uh. um... <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, a question that I want to pose to you all is: with the arrival of Crossout in the Megatins, mm. how much do you think that that will affect deck building here in the TCG? Uh, so uh, everyone's going to run Nibbit One now. Stuff all because we won't get it to the next ban list. So, what? Eh? Well, for us, who aren't going to get the tins until the next ban list comes out, won't matter. We'll get them, but we just probably won't be able to play in real life. Also true. Um, no, to answer your question, actually, not that far away from being able to play IRL, to be honest. Yeah, in, in New South Wales, yeah, that's a good point. I'm about probably... a month away. Well, you're not going to be playing with us. <laughs> by, time, about... by the time we get out, you'll be gone. Yeah, but I'm a month because then I'll be able to go to the locals up there. I oh, say okay. we're probably, we're, I reckon we're a month because didn't they say October 18th? Part of you to assume James ready to go back. Bro. Yeah, man's got World of Warcraft to play. <laughs> True. Um, <laughs> no, I'm yeah. joking. I love you, Jabe. This is I a joke. Oh, yeah, because Jabe's always listening to the Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. podcast. I want um, no beef. I want no beef. I love you, Jabe. You're a good dude. <laughs> Lock- Lockman only wants beef with Nara. <laughs> well, I don't want to get touched by anyone now. I don't want AIDS. <laughs> yeah. That's a good turn. Wow. Um, so back to your point, Jake, and your question. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, Nibiru to what? Like, a lot of your side deck cards just suddenly become one of Um Which, I don't know if I like it or not. It's so okay. garbage. I hate it. I hate this. So, shit. I don't know if I like it or not, but it's garbage and I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like the old man who, was, I'm like old man who yells at, like, the clouds. It's like, oh, back in my day, this card game was good. Give me some tea. <laughs> so... As a opposite thought, obviously the OCG took one route and they just started playing like one of every problematic hand trap of their deck kind of thing. Do you think that there's a theory possibly of playing either more obscure hand traps that people aren't running so then can't be crossed out or just running more going second cards like evenly matched kaijus um, and stuff like that to then not be able to play into the cross outs? I think people are just going to play like two ofs of the good hand traps, like two Ash, two Bell, two Imperm, two Nib sort of thing. So you see them, but then you won't not have them in your deck to damage. I think Kaijus is a good shout. Like, because you can still cross out droplets. 
You can cross out a kaiju, it just won't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, like, that's what I mean. Like, you can cross out droplets and respawns if they're instead of spell. You can cross out, um, like, oh, its name escapes me now. Lightning Storm. Um, but a kaiju is really that. strong. Yeah. Yeah, so that was that was my theory at least. Like I've not obviously tested this, but my thought would be playing not playing into cross out by playing cards that can still break the board but then don't um like activate. Still, yeah, well not even activate, just cards that aren't as likely to be run as counters to cross out. You mean it's after you mean game two going second or just in the main? Well, just yeah. Well, just yeah. Well, obviously going first, like you're going to have to play cross out and you're going to have to play cards to then be able to stop your plays being negated. But more so for yeah, going second, you play cards that don't play into cross out. So a your opponent is playing potential bricks in their deck, and b you're still being able to out the board. Yeah. I think cross out is a necessary evil in a game where, like, like if you take the thirty percent of decks, like of each deck that's just like hand traps and like basically the same cards, you, like yeah, cross out sort of rewards you for playing more out there cards, uh, like you were saying, Jake. Um, and I think that's a good thing. It encourages diversity. Or you can keep playing the same stuff you've been playing and, and lose more frequently. <laughs> I, I like it. Diversity is a good thing. I think it's part of what makes Digimon so great. Yeah, I guess yeah, that's like they're they're great for their own different reasons and like the diversity is for obviously different reasons as well. But yeah, that's, yeah. that's a fair point. Um and I suppose another card that becomes very good after this, well, two cards really, is um, Droplets and... Um, Epsilon, is it? Oh. E- Epsilon is also not a bad shout. Um, is to Epsilon be able to the then... trap or is it? I think it's the spell one. Hmm. Yeah, because I think Beta's the trap one. No, Epsilon's Are you really playing trap. Epsilon's the trap. But are you really going to play Beta? Delta. Is it Delta? I definitely yeah, played oh no. I definitely played some trick stuff on it. But are you really gonna play those to stop cross out designators? Because it's like useless unless you have the hand trap to bait out the cross out. Well it's not even cross out and uh, no, oh. sorry, not even the hand trap sometimes. Like even if you're just going to try and play your turn and your opponent's playing counters to your deck, like if you go to normal summon something and they have the target to be able to negate that. I let's guess play, so. Let's play one of Alistair guys. Look, I don't so put it past it. any of you. <laughs> no, I no, no, one of invocation. Of you. I don't mind that idea, to be honest. <laughs> one of invocation. <laughs> one of it, bro. No, one of um, Gazelle. Gazelle. <laughs> one of Gazelle. You guys I, noticed when I was look, doing my custom ban list, I didn't bring Gazelle off. <laughs> <laughs> we have fun here. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I think that will do it for tonight. Thank you all for listening. Um, if you have any questions or thoughts on the ban list, feel free to jump into our Discord and let us know um, or comment on the video. Um, as always, like and subscribe. Uh, thank you all for joining me this evening, and we will catch you all later. Bye. Bye. Love you.